The images of captured Private Bo Burjdal left the Secretary of Defense expressing contempt for Taliban tactics. Uh, our commanders are sparing no effort uh, to find this young soldier. And I also would say my personal reaction was one of disgust uh, at the exploitation of this young man. In Burjdal's hometown of Haley, Idaho, residents showed their support with ribbons and prayers. Today, the town sheriff to spoke for the soldier's the family. We have been overwhelmed with the outpouring of support and concern toward Bo and our family. As you know, the situation is extremely difficult for everyone involved. Neighbors and others in the tight-knit community have known for weeks that Burjdal had been captured, but remained quiet out of respect for his family. The video shows the 23-year-old oh, clearly under duress, admonishing the U.S. presence in Afghanistan and becoming noticeably home. shaken when talking about his girlfriend and family. I have my girlfriend who is hoping to marry. I have a very, very good family. The U.S. military has launched its biggest operation in eastern Afghanistan to find him, led by the 3,000-strong Task Force Yukon, Private Burjtal's very own unit. The soldier went missing last month. In the video, he says he was captured after lagging behind on patrol. He does appear to be in good health. He's shown eating and says he's been, quote, treated like a guest. CBS News consultant on terrorism Jerry Van Dyke says the appearance of good treatment is the Taliban's way of taunting the U.S. It's a message to the United States and to its allies and to the American public to say that we treat soldiers better than you do. And it may be some small comfort to the family still hoping for a safe return. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Kabul.